Deductive Reasoning Deductive reasoning, or deduction, starts with a general case and deduces specific instances. Deduction starts with an assumed hypothesis or theory, which is why it has been called hypothetical deduction. This assumption may be well accepted, or it may be rather more shaky. Nevertheless, for the argument, it is not questioned. Deduction is used by scientists who take a general scientific law and apply it to a certain case, as they assume that the law is true. Deduction can also be used to test and induction by applying it elsewhere, although in this case the initial theory is assumed to be true only temporarily. Here are some examples. Say this and not this. Say, gravity makes things fall. The apple that hit my head was due to gravity. Not this. The apple hit my head. Gravity works. Say this. They are all like that. Just look at him. Not this. Look at him. They are all like that. Say this. Toyota makes wonderful cars. Let me show you this one. Not this. These cars are all wonderful. They are made by Toyota, it seems. Say this. There is a law against smoking. Stop it now. Not this. Stop smoking, please. Deductive reasoning assumes that the basic law from which you are arguing is applicable in all cases. This can let you take a rule and apply it perhaps where it was not really meant to be applied. Scientists will prove a general law for a particular case and then do many deductive experiments and often get PhDs in the process. But they do these experiments to demonstrate that the law holds true in many different circumstances. In set theory, a deduction is a subset of the rule that is taken as the start point. If the rule is true and deduction is a true subset, not a conjunction, then the deduction is almost certainly true. Using deductive reasoning usually is a credible and safe form of reasoning, but is based on the assumed truth of the rule or law on which it was founded. Validity and Soundness Deductive conclusions can be valid or invalid. Valid arguments obey the initial rule. For validity, the truth or falsehood of the initial rule is not considered. Thus, valid conclusions need not be true and invalid conclusions may not be false. When a conclusion is both valid and true, it is considered to be sound. When it is valid but untrue, then it is considered to be unsound. Let's take a look at deductive fallacies. Deductive reasoning uses a move from general rules to specific instances. Deductive fallacies fail due to breaking the rules of this form of reasoning. Here are six different deductive fallacies. Accident, a general rule used to explain a specific case not covered by it. Appeal to common belief. If others believe it to be true, it must be true. Appeal to common practice. If others do it, it must be okay to do it too. Begging the question. Circular reasoning to prove assumed premise. Ecological fallacy, conclusions about individual from group data. Exception fallacy, conclusions about group from individual data. We'll cover these fallacies more in detail later in the course. So that's it for deductive reasoning and deductive fallacies.